What is Anglican Christianity? Anglican Christianity is a branch of the One Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Just like Greek Orthodox Christianity or Roman Catholicism, Anglican practices, liturgy, and traditions evolved in one specific context and part of the world, namely England, but we ultimately trace the root of our faith to Calvary, not England. We believe in the unique status of the dominical sacraments, baptism and Holy Eucharist, but maintain a place for the other five sacraments called sacraments of the church. Anglicanism is often called the middle way or via media because it often seems aesthetically more like Catholicism and in our doctrines are more a mix of Reformed and Lutheran doctrine. Unlike other Protestants, we preserve the historic episcopacy and the threefold ministry of bishop, priests, and deacons, as well as apostolic succession, which means that our bishops can trace their ordinations back to the above apostles themselves. But in the most important matters, we're united with the historic Protestant traditions on issues like justification, infant baptism, the divinity of Christ, and other important matters that all Christians would agree on. There are individual Anglicans who identify as Methodist, or Reformed Anglican, or Anglo-Catholic, or Anglo-Lutheran. There are African Anglicans, English Anglicans, American Anglicans, Chilean Anglicans, Anglicans in Germany, Malaysian Anglicans, Rwandan Anglicans, Indian Anglicans. All of these Anglicans come together at the end of the day to spread the gospel together in a global communion. Thanks for watching and God bless. Methodism is the pursuit of true scriptural Christianity. And to be a Methodist means to love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. We call this holy love. It is holy because love is defined by God and love means to love God with your whole being. Because of this, any man who has experienced a new birth can be a Methodist. In fact, the people who were first called Methodists were not seeking to establish a new religion or theology, but simply live the whole Christian life, or what they called primitive Christianity. John Wesley's work, The Character of a Methodist, answers the question of what is a Methodist. A Methodist is a person who has the love of God shining in his heart by the Holy Spirit. He loves the Lord his God with all his heart, and with all his soul, and with all his mind, and with all his strength. God is the joy of his heart and the desire of his soul. His soul is constantly crying out with the psalmist, Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is nothing on earth that I desire other than you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Because the definition of a Methodist is one who seeks to love God with his whole being, this means that Methodism is not an institution, but rather a people. Why be Lutheran? Because whatever God says, we affirm it. God says we're saved by grace, we affirm it. God says his word is above tradition, we affirm it. God says this is his blood and body, we affirm it. Reformation wasn't about making a new church from scratch. It wasn't about discarding tradition also. It was about restoring the faith to its roots. It was about confronting what's rotten and maintaining what's pure. It wasn't about going forward. It was about turning back. So you're a Christian who only knows about Baptists from stereotypes of poor theology and being scared of the Catholic Church? Well, easy enough for you, there are eight other Baptist distinctives. Believer's baptism, authority of scripture, priesthood of the believer, two ordinances, baptism and communion, independence of the local church, saved church membership, and two offices, pastor and deacon, as well as separation of church and state. Baptists often prefer simple architecture reminiscent of early meeting houses used in small assemblies, feeling that too much architecture can put too much emphasis on the building rather than worship. Musically, Baptists prefer traditional hymns such as Victory in Jesus, a popular Baptist hymn. Baptists believe the Bible in of itself is the standard the church is held to and church tradition should not be used in an authoritative stance. Baptists also emphasize personal reading and understanding of the word. Next Sunday, maybe visit Pastor Billy Bob's church to experience Baptist services firsthand. What is the Oriental Orthodox Church? The Oriental Orthodox Church is composed of five autocephalous churches. The Coptic Orthodox Church, the Syriac Orthodox Church, the Syriac Malankara Orthodox Church, the Armenian Apostolic Orthodox Church, the Ethiopian Orthodox Tewahedo Church, and the Eritrean Orthodox Tewahedo Church. We all share the same faith, and together, we are the one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church founded by Christ, and we confess one incarnate nature of the Logos. Our fathers, St. Cyril, St. Dioscorus, and St. Severus, and all our Orthodox fathers have kept our faith alive from generation to generation through persecution and through many trials and tribulations. 
We have still remained steadfast in our Orthodox Christian faith. Through the grace of God, we are stronger than ever, united and tied together as the Oriental Orthodox Church, as the Bride of Christ. Lately, I've been traveling Europe to learn the history of Protestantism and about the many denominations. I hope you enjoy some of the footage of these churches I've been able to explore as I talk about my denomination, the Evangelical Free Church of America, aka the EFCA. The reason EFCA is such a great denomination is because it captures very strongly the personal relationship side with God as well as has a great love for tradition. The EFCA came out of the Lutheran Church in Norway after many Norwegians moved to America in the 1800s. In light of this, there are still many historic EFCA churches in America. Shortly, you are going to see video of my home church in Minnesota. It's been around since the 1940s. We have people from all different ethnic backgrounds. We do communion every week, and we have a solid statement of faith. Anyways, I hope this hyped up the EFCA denomination for you. Peace out. It is Christianity in its original pre-medieval form, without doctrinal change or adulteration. It's Orthodox, but not Jewish. It's Catholic, but not Roman. It's Evangelical, but not Protestant. It's not denominational. It's pre-denominational. It's not ancient. It's not modern. It is... <laughs> triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Iconography, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving are fundamental to Orthodox life. Repentance is a recurring principle that guides every Orthodox Christian grow closer to Christ through the Holy Sacraments. The Holy Scriptures, Councils, and the lives of the saints instruct, inspire, and are celebrated as pillars and guides of our faith. Together on Sunday, we worship God in the Divine Liturgy. Come and see for yourself. They're continuationists. They believe that God is still speaking outside of the word and God is still doing kaboom signs and wonders. The 1906 Holy Spirit outpouring at Azusa Street in Los Angeles led to a revival that saw not only multitudes coming to Christ, but also miraculous signs and physical healings. From that revival arose the Pentecostal Church, dedicated to seeking God in his word and spirit as the early church did. Pentecostalism comes in different flavors, but we all believe that the Holy Spirit still empowers the church today with all the spiritual gifts described in the Bible, including prophecy and speaking in tongues, and that we should earnestly desire them so that the church may be built up and that the lost will come to know that God is really among us. The promise of the Holy Spirit is for all whom God calls to himself. That means you and me. And it's why Pentecostalism has so quickly grown into one of the largest branches of the church worldwide. Come experience the Spirit-filled life with us. The Pentecostal Church, built on Christ the Rock, empowered by the Spirit, giving glory to the Father. Presbyterianism is a classical Protestant denomination with well-defined theology. We believe in the fundamentals of Protestant Christianity, but what makes us unique in our beliefs? In the Lord's Supper, we spiritually receive the blood and body of Christ, and this is symbolized by the bread and wine. The baptism of water signifies the baptism of the Spirit, which is a means of God's saving grace. We believe that no one can be saved by works, yet God, in his mercy and grace, decides to save us. We believe in the covenant between God and mankind. Throughout scripture, we see the covenant progressing. It is never abolished, but is fulfilled by Christ. We believe the biblical kingdom of Israel has been succeeded by the kingdom of Christendom, which is their church. We sing psalms in our churches, something that few other denominations do, supplemented with other traditional and modern Christian music. Our church has significant beauty in architecture, without portraying images of God. And that is Presbyterianism, a historic Protestant denomination, and we most importantly wish to glorify God and to enjoy Him forever. <laughs>
لا 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 Goeie dag en welkom to the Dutch Reformed Church. The Dutch Reformed Church was established in the Netherlands during the Protestant Reformation and was spread all around the world through the Dutch colonies. Today you'll find churches most common in the Netherlands, Southern Africa and Indonesia, as well as a few in the Americas. Our church has a very diverse culture and historical richness, especially in former colonies, that are all united under the same tradition established so many years ago. The church defined a lot of what transpired in our history, which can be seen in our services, hymns, holy days and culture and traditions outside of the church. There is a profound emphasis put on education and scholasticism by the church, committed to cultivating a well-informed faith of clergy and laity alike. This emphasis has led to the establishment of universities and schools, which contributes to a broader societal advancement and knowledge. Tot ziens en mag God is seen. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Espírito Santo. 